This is Pav Bamber here for PSB Sports. I'm at York Hall here for Chimney versus Camacho. With me, I've got Eddie the Legend Hearn. How are you doing, Ed? It's very nice of you. You're trying to get an cu extra couple of minutes in the interview. Tough. Two minutes, I'm sweating. I'm going to Germany tomorrow. And uh, your hair looks good, your suit looks smart, but you've still only got two minutes. Great fight. Unbelievable fight, wasn't it? Right. Okay, we know it was a great fight, but I've got to ask you about other stuff because we've got two bits. Right, quick one. What is going on with Joshua and Klitschko? Is it on November 26th and with the situation with the governing bodies and the other belts? Can't tell you about the governing bodies. Nothing really to do with me. We're trying to negotiate a fight with Vladimir Klitschko for probably November the 26th. If we can get that deal done, we'll present it to the governing bodies, see who wants to sanction it, and then we'll make the fight. Is it going to happen? I don't know. At the moment, 60%. So Parker fights on Saturday. We'll watch him. He might tear down the WBO route. God knows what's going to happen. The whole thing's a mess. It's just another day in boxing. And hopefully we can make the Vladimir Klitschko fight. For two ones. Are we set for November 26th and are we set for Manchester? Definitely. We're definitely set for Manchester. But could be November 26th, could be December 10th. We were trying to go to Millennium Stadium. Not available. So 26th or December 10th. That's what's happening. Major beef on Tuesday with White and Lewison. What was your reaction to that? I had to change my pants quite quickly. Uh, good. You know, uh, the language was a bit blue, but they both want it. And grudge is good sometimes. I like it when there's a fight with loads of respect. I like it when there's a fight with loads of beef. Sometimes I just sit back and just let him go at it and I can have a little rest rather than having to sell, sell, sell. So let him, let him go to work. Kelbrook, firstly, how was he? Will he return to work with 147? So I'm asking these questions like, as fast as I can. But yeah, can Willie return to 147 and he's going up to 154 for that huge Canelo fight? Okay, so he had an operation last Friday. Went really well. All a huge success. Back in training, I think, tomorrow. Obviously can't spar for 10 weeks, but wants to keep ticking over. Wants the huge fights. Uh, maybe fight Spence at 147. Probably move to 154. We want Canelo, Cotto or Khan. Canelo, Cotto or Khan. Can Khan be made? Because is, is it... Now he's with Heyman. Is that... Well, he's been here with him for a while, but it hasn't happened. But just, I don't know, you know, you make, I don't know, four or five million quid to fight Kel Brook, or you make two million quid to fight Danny Garcia. So. Anything big, anything major happening? Obviously, obviously, no, I'll be like, even, it, 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 no, I'll be like, even bigger, because you've got Josh. What's bigger than Joshua Klitschko? Yeah, that is true. Okay. It's very big. But, like, anything going on with, like, any other stuff that you could, like, tell us? Anything happening? Yeah, we're announcing a show on Monday. Be a two world title fights, maybe three. That's November the 12th, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I've got nothing else for you. Um, yeah. What? For that show? Yeah, abroad. Yeah. Interesting. And how's the gymnastics? Obviously, you're moving to gymnastics now. Yeah, it's going well. Sold like 8,000 tickets on the first day. So my dad was taking the mickey out of me, boasting about it, because he's more involved with that than me. And uh, no, it's a big success. Obviously, you know, do you hope to have more final nights like this in your court? I'm not sure our accounts department want to, because they're not really a big financial success. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. And you know, I'm proud to see the young kids coming through. And, and when you see the talent we've got, like, I think a lot of people will leave here tonight and go, oh, Felix Cash, oh, Jake Ball. Oh, they're good talents coming through. So, you know, it's great. Um, how long have how long we got left? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. OK, right. So... Um, Tyson Fury, obviously, you came under a bit of stick for the, some of those. You came under a bit of stick for some of those comments that you made. But obviously, you've explained yourself a few times. Obviously, you didn't actually mean any harm by it. You were just trying to say that let's get the belts active. Obviously, from your position. What I was saying was, people were talking about how you know could he cope with winning the belts and the fame. And I said, what needed to happen? Not now. Now he needs help. But way back when he's talking this and saying that, if someone get hold of him, pull him to one side and say, listen, get your head down, and just. You're world champ. You can have it off here. Just keep your nut down. Get to the gym. All the super fights. And, I, and that's what I feel he needed. Not now. You know, people say, oh, we talk about give a bloke a slap around here who's got depression. No, he needs to get help. But back then, when he was behaving like he was behaving, I felt like that's when he needed an arm around him to say, listen, stop saying that. Come off social media. Get your head down. Get to the gym. I've done it with our fighters plenty of times when they're going off the rails. Phoning them up all hours, driving up to their houses. Rain it in, son. You know, you've got to get focused here. And, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it, it wouldn't have worked. But that's what, just, my, just my opinion. Finally, how's, how's Baz doing? Baz is flying. Is it well? Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got, he needs a new knee and a new hip. But other than that, he's fine. Pab Bamber, Eddie Hearn for PSB Sports. Thank you very much.